All right, good afternoon. Can you hear me all right? Yes. Okay. Uh, my name is Eli Jacob. I'm an acupuncturist. I have my office in, over in Magnolia. I've been practicing Chinese medicine here on K-Band since 1987. Today I'm talking about acupressure for stress reduction. Does anybody out there ever feel any stress? I see a few hands, a few <laughs> smiles, yes. So stress is when you're overloaded, when you're overworked, when you've got your foot on the gas and the brakes at the same time, and so you're just kind of burning up inside. People with stress could be bothered by some problem, they could feel kind of overwhelmed by it. There might be some particular thing. Stress can include phobias, anxieties, uh, post-trauma reactions, any of that things. Now, you might remember a song that goes, it was 20 years ago today that Sergeant Pepper taught the band to play. Remember that? Well, it was 30 years ago today, well, roughly today, that a psychologist in California, a Dr. Roger Callahan, started studying acupressure because he wanted to teach his tense and anxious and phobic patients how to help themselves relax. Well, one thing led to another, and he developed a whole system of, call it, psychological acupressure, so that you can do pressure points on yourself with a gentle tapping motion to get your mind and your brain and your nervous system to relax about whatever issues are bugging you that you can't get out of your head. And I heard about Dr. Callahan when he was doing a book tour. I saw him on television and he was holding up a book and it was called The Five Minute Phobia Cure. And that sounded a little outlandish, how can you get over a phobia in five minutes? But I watched and I saw that he was using the classical Chinese acupuncture or acupressure points in order to relax the nervous system. And he hasn't kept it a secret and it's actually made it rather famous. And I've taken a lot of training with him. And his most recent book is Tapping the Healer Within by Roger Callahan that you can get a hold of at you know, any bookstore or order online. And he's recently brought out a book called Tapping the Body's Energy Pathways, which gives a lot of case histories of people who've gotten relief from a wide variety of anxious, intense type of problems and stress levels by doing these self-acupressure points. Who here has ever had a massage? Almost everybody's raising their hands. When you got a massage, did it matter what you were thinking about when you got a massage? Usually not, you just lie there. When you're doing this tapping points to relieve a psychological distress, it's different. I'm gonna have you actually lightly think of what it is that was bothering you. It's like pulling a file up on a computer screen in order to edit it. Now, before I get going, does everybody have one of these charts? They're down there. No, are you talking about um, the thing that's bothering you that's a new thing or an old thing? It could be new, it could be old. That's not going to matter. Okay, you don't have to hold this now. I'm going to talk you through it. But this will, you know, you'll have this at home so you'll be able to keep doing this. So, and what there is for people to take home, there's a couple basic brochures talking about thought field therapy. And this has an illustration of what the tapping points are. And I'm going to take you through a basic recipe of how to tap on a sequence of points to, it's like taking a plunger to a stuck drain. I went over to the hardware booth to see if they had a plunger. You know, you ever think that there's something stuck in your head and you need to like take a plunger to your head and get the stuff out of your brain? It's kind of like that. Also, there's copies of a DVD of a documentary about this tapping on the meridian points. You can have a look at this at home, and it actually actually shows you some of the tapping and also the people who are working with it. Okay, I'd like everybody to think of something that bugs them. You might have a phobia, maybe you hate snakes or airplanes or your boss or something. Or maybe there's a mood that's built up, like you're really aggravated about something or other. Or you might have had a scary experience sometime in the past. Or you maybe just feel antsy in general. Can you, anybody relate to that? Any of those? Now just pick one, because like a computer file, you can only edit one document at a time. 
if you have if you have a grudge against your boss and your mother-in-law, you do those separately, unless your boss is your mother-in-law if you work in a family business or something. Now also, some of these points are around the, the eyes. So if you wear glasses, if you can still see me, it might be better to take the glasses off. Okay, now sort of like having a thermometer, take a rating from zero to 10 of like, if you think about what the problem is, like how much it bothers you. Like let's say somebody's afraid of snakes. There's no snakes here, but just thinking about snakes from zero to 10, you know, how much does it bother you? Is it like a five, a seven? And you just take a little snapshot picture in your mind so you have something to compare this to after we're done. So has everybody picked a subject that makes you feel uneasy? Okay. And have you given it a rating? Okay. So we're going to go through a sequence of spots as if to push the tension out of your acupuncture meridians or out of your nervous system, we could say. And this will be a, a basic recipe that probably can work for about 80% of the people. Some people would have to do other spots or in other in different sequences, which might have to be worked out individually. But this is a general recipe that will give maybe 80% of the people some relief. So if you're ready to go, you're going to use two fingers, and you're going to do a kind of a tapping motion, gentle, but firm enough to, as if put some energy into your body. But you're not going to hurt anybody. anybody. You don't want to hurt yourself. So take your hand. So think of what bothers you and tap right on the top of your head about half a dozen times while you're remembering what it is that bothers you, okay? Now relax for a second. So that's the type of tapping it's gonna be. Now the first step is actually on the routine. This is all on the paper that you get to take home. The first spot is actually gonna be on the side of your hand where you would karate chop something. And one other question, how many people were in the Boy Scouts or the Girl Scouts? Okay, so you remember, if you remember those Scout oaths and promises, we start off with a little statement that just sort of mentally lubricates the process. And it kind of, you know if sometimes if you have a problem bugging you for a long time, you get mad at yourself for having a problem, can you relate to that? So we do a little statement, a sort of affirmation, that amounts to forgiving ourselves for having the problem. And you don't have to believe it when you say it, but tapping on this pressure point makes it sink in. So you say to yourself, even though I have this problem, tap on your tap here, even though I have this problem, or even though this bothers me, whatever words are comfortable to your mind, you know, even though I have this fear of sex, whatever it might be, I deeply and profoundly accept myself. So just say that out loud. Even though I have this problem, I deeply and profoundly accept myself. Once more, even though I have this problem, I deeply and profoundly accept myself. Now switch hands. Even though I have this problem, I deeply and profoundly accept myself. Even though I have this problem, I deeply and profoundly accept myself. Okay, now, tap on the starting point of your eyebrows. So you just tap here. And keep in mind what it is that bothers you. Just kind of lightly think about that. And we do about half a dozen taps. You don't really have to count how many. You just get about that many. Okay, then tap on the corner of the eye, at the bone at the corner of the eye. Not the eyebrow, but the actual angle of the eye. And keep breathing. Some people hold their breath. No need to do that. Now tap on the cheekbone right below your eye. Right on the ridge of the bone, pretty close under the bottom of the eye. And a gentle, friendly tap, okay? Now with one hand, under the nose, between the nose and the upper lip. Now in the hollow between the chin and the lip. Right on the center line of the body. Okay. okay. Now just under the collarbone, kind of near the center. 
Not on the collarbone, but the sides of it. There you go. And just keep reminding yourself what it is that you're the problem that you want to get rid of while you're doing this. Keep it in mind. It's like taking a plunger to a stuck drain. You have to be at the right sink. Okay, now tap on the ribs just right in front of your body. And now the ribs on the side. You can just do one hand and reach around if that's easier. You can, even, you can either do this, you know, like monkey scratching, or reach around. Now pause for a minute. Now think about what that is, that tension or that bad memory, whatever it might be. And give it that rating of how much it bothered you just to think about it. Has that changed for anybody? I show of hands if it's gone down. Like you don't feel as bothered by it. Got one there. Two, three. Okay, now there's some more spots, so let's keep going now. So let's get it go again with the uh, tapping on the side of the hand, because that lubricates the process. And in your mind, just say this just to yourself in your mind and be specific with what the problem is. You know, if it's fear of flying or the time you were beat up in grade school, whatever it might have been. So even though, then fill in the blank, just say that to yourself, even though what the problem is or something happened to me, I deeply and profoundly accept myself. And repeat that in your mind, just to yourself. Nobody else has to know. Okay, now let's continue tapping. We're now going to do some points that are on the hands. And they're just off the corner of the nail. They're on the, the flesh. They're not on the nail. So just on the corner, off the corner of the nail of the thumb, just tap on that while you're gently thinking of what the problem is, the emotion or the fear or the past incident. And then the corner of the index finger. Corner of the middle finger. We skip the ring finger, we do the corner of the pinky. And now again on the side of the hand. Now pause for a minute and check in with yourself. Think of what that memory is, the bad memory or that mood or the issue you feel with a given person. Has that gone down farther from you? I see a knot there, yeah? Okay. So, how does that feel? You feel like calmer about it? Like it doesn't bother you so much? So this is just like cleaning out, you know, your, your sock drawer or your silverware drawer in the kitchen. You pick something and you clean it off. You know, you dust the crumbs off. And you loop around this perhaps more than once. If something bothers you, like to a given extent, let's say it's a nine, like, oh, I can't stand to think about what happened to me yesterday. I, I can't stop thinking about it. So that'll reduce. And then you can look at it again and get more, get more rid of it. And get more rid of it. So what we've done here so far is we've done group one response. Top of the head, eyebrow, corner of the eye, cheekbone, upper lip, the chin, the ribs in front of the body, and on the, the ribs on the side of the body. The ribs in front of the body are just in front, the lower chest, and on the side it's just halfway down the ribs. Or it's sort of like a hand width below the armpit on the side of the ribs. Group two are the points on the fingers, and you only have to do one hand. Corner of the thumbnail, corner of the index finger, corner of the middle finger. There's a Chinese reason why we skip the ring finger, we just leave that out. Corner of the pinky, and then again on the side of the hand. And what these are, these are beginning or ending points of acupuncture meridians. So it's like a plumber taking a drain snake to a clogged pipe. The Chinese would say, we're pushing the bad energy out of the body. It's also creating an electrical pulse that goes up to the, the brain. And they're starting the brainwave research on actually how this works. 
part two, Dr. Callahan borrowed from a field called Neuro Linguistic Programming, a left and right brain exercise. Because if you're stressed out, it could be that the right or the left side of the brain is more locked up about it. So I'm gonna talk you through section three here. For section three, you tap on a spot on the top of your hand. It's behind and between the fourth and fifth knuckles on your hand. And you just lightly tap on that. And you can and if if your distress level, that number we talked about, is still there, you know, you keep focusing on that like it's oh I I hate it like a three. You know, I used to hate it like a seven, and now it's like a three. So you tune into that. And you keep tapping through this whole thing, first with your eyes open. Just looking straight ahead at nothing in particular. But in the back of the mind, you think of what bothers you. Now you close your eyes. You do another half dozen taps. You don't have to count it, you just roughly know how many it is. Now you open your eyes, and you keep your head still, but you glance your eyes down to the corner, like down to that side, down to the floor. You do another, you keep tapping. If you don't tap, it doesn't work. Now you look front for a second. Now you swing your eyes down to the other side, keeping your head mostly still. You're just glancing with your eyes. Okay, now relax your eyes, keep tapping. Now we're gonna whirl our eyes around in a circle, like down across the floor, up the side wall, up over the ceiling, down the other wall, keep tapping, back across the floor, do it again, down across, up the wall, across the ceiling, down the other side, back across. It's like you're looking around a clock. Now the other direction, reverse it. Crank it back up the other one. And around a couple times. Okay, pause there. Now, rating the problem that was bothering you emotionally or in your memory, has anybody has it gone down to zero for anybody? It's like you can't really find it anymore. Or what number is it down to? Like a three, a two, or a one? What number? A two. Okay. Anybody else got a number? A three. What did it start at, the three? Nine. Started at nine, it's down to a three. That's more tolerable. And then we loop around again. So actually this exercise, and it may seem complicated, but after you do it a couple of times, it just goes easy like that. Also on the DVD, you can watch people doing it, you can kind of tap along with them. Okay, so we did the group one points, which is on the head and the face and the chest. We did the group two points, which is on the hand. We did section three, which is the eyes looking around. And sure, it's kind of silly, but nobody's gonna be watching you at home. You can do this at home, you can do it at work. Just don't do it at the airport. They might lock you up. So after you do part three, you can actually do group one again. And that'll push out even more of the tension, more of the stored bad memory. It doesn't give you amnesia. You'll know what it was that bothered you, but it won't have the emotional charge. It won't have you in the guts. It won't have a grip on you like it did before. Also, what's mentioned in this little, uh, this little balloon here is when you loop, if, you, if it's at a zero, you're done. If something still bothers you and you're going to loop around again, you change the little affirmation and you say, I still have this remaining amount of the problem but I accept myself anyway. I still have this remaining issue and I do completely love and accept myself about the remaining amount that's bothering me. And then you loop around again and you'll get rid of even more of it. So let's do another loop. Now if you've gone to zero on the thing that was bothering you, pick something different to think about. Or if there's like a three left, then we're gonna do another loop on the same one. A question? Yes. Uh, is it, does this technique work for physical, let's say I have a pain or something? Yes, you can be feeling a physical pain in your body. It doesn't just have to be a memory or a mood or an emotion. Yeah, you can focus on a physical ache or a pain, definitely. Okay, let's do another loop around. So, 
pick either the same topic or something different and tap on the top of your head. Well, first we set it up. Tap on the side of your hand and say, even though I have this pain or this mood or this anxiety or this bad memory, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this fill in the blank, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though so-and-so treated me crying, I deeply and profoundly accept myself. Now switch hands. Other hand. Even though fill in the blank, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I deeply and completely accept myself. Once more. Okay, now thinking of what that problem or tension or stress is, and you don't have to bring it, you don't have to relive it, you don't have to dwell on it, but just lightly think about it, you tune into it. Tap the top of your head. Tap the start of the eyebrow. Tap the corner of the eyeball. Tap the very top of the cheekbone under your eye. Tap the upper lip. Tap between the lower lip and the chin, the hollow. Tap just under the collarbone where it makes a corner with the breastbone. Tap the, the lower ribs right in front of the body, right in front. Tap the ribs on the side. It's okay to just use one hand. Okay, now the hand points. Tap at the corner of the thumb. Tap the corner of the index finger. Corner of the middle finger. Corner of the little finger. Side of the hand. Now we're going to do the eye movements. Tap on the top of the hand in the hollow between the fourth and fifth knuckle. With your eyes open, and just reminding yourself gently of what it is that bothers you. Now close your eyes. Open your eyes. Look down to the side. Look down to the other side. Okay. Whirl your eyes around in a big circle, like the floor, up the wall, and across the ceiling, and down the other side, and then go around a second time. Keeping your head mostly still, just moving your eyes, and reverse direction, go around the other way. When you're doing this at home, it doesn't matter which direction you do first, as long as you do both directions. Okay, then we're going to add actually this one more layer. You keep tapping. And you hum, because one side of the brain needs to be activated by music. Pick a tune and hum it. No words, you hum. Let's do happy birthday. That's long enough. Now you, for the other half of the brain, you count out loud. One, two, three, four, five. That's enough. Now you hum again. Okay. Now we're going to repeat the group one points. Tap on the top of your head. Eyebrow. Corner of the eye. Cheekbone. Upper lip. Chin point. Under the collarbone. Front of the ribs. Side of the ribs. And relax. What number do you have for a rating of how much that bothers you anymore? Has it gone down? It didn't go up for anybody. No? Nope. You can't hurt yourself doing this. You can only help yourself. You can do it any number of times in the day. And if for some reason it isn't going down from this particular sequence, then in a private session I can work with somebody and figure out what order of points or certain other points a person might have to use like sometimes there's a difference if somebody has a particular fear or a particular trauma, you need certain other spots. But this is a general recipe that will help 80 or more percent of the people relieve a stored stress or tension. So I want to thank you for participating and listening to me.
Um, if you know anybody that needs to learn this, they can come and see me, and I'm also available to come and like do like a Tupperware party. I'll come and do it to a school class or a service club or some kind of a meeting or a 12-step group or anything where people want to learn how to reduce their stress and tension. So, thank you very much. Now I'll come off the podium. I can take questions and things. Thank you.